In economics, there are four broad categories of resources used to produce goods and services. Land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurial ability. You'll also hear these resources referred to as inputs or factors of production. We use the term land to describe all natural resources used in production. This includes farmland, forests, oil, oceans, fish, and other gifts of nature. The term labor covers all physical and mental activity people devote to producing goods and services. Labor is used to plant crops, run machines, and even teach economics. Capital entails everything that is created in order to increase the productivity of other resources. Physical capital includes machinery, buildings, trucks, and tools. Human capital includes the skills, knowledge, and education that we accumulate to make ourselves more productive. Finally, entrepreneurial ability is the talent or ability to organize land, labor, and capital into a productive process, assuming the risk and the cost of failure, and most importantly, bringing innovation to the market. Good examples of entrepreneurs are Henry Ford and Steve Jobs, people who took existing resources and put them together in ways that were more efficient or better for consumers. Entrepreneurship may be the most important of all resources. Without the entrepreneur, no production occurs. Because all resources are scarce, the trick is in the allocation. How and where they are used is a very important question because a resource allocated to one purpose often cannot be easily allocated to another. For example, land used for a car factory cannot easily be used to produce food. So, how we allocate resources ultimately determines what and how much of the things we want will be produced.